a viral online video this week has reignited public concern about the security of the United Kingdom's new One Login platform. It is the government's central digital identity system that will soon be required for most public services. The government claims the system is secure and entirely built within the United Kingdom, but several independent investigations tell a different story. Reports from Computer Weekly and Biometric Update revealed that a red team security test earlier this year uncovered serious weaknesses. Testers were able to gain privileged access to internal systems without being detected by monitoring tools. Additional findings show the platform currently meets only 21 of 39 required outcomes in the National Cyber Security Center's framework. It also temporarily lost its certification under the Digital Identity and Attributes Trust framework when one supplier's credentials expired. Analysts warn that concentrating millions of identities in a single login could create a single point of failure. A whistleblower within the program also alleged that non-secure devices were used for administrative work, raising further doubts about the internal controls. Government officials insist these claims are outdated, saying that improvements made since 2023 have strengthened protection and that there have been no confirmed breaches. Even so, critics argue that without full recertification and transparent auditing, public confidence remains fragile. One login is already active across dozens of government services. Any weakness could therefore affect benefit claims, tax records and other personal data used by millions of citizens. For a full breakdown of the evidence, the official responses and what remains unanswered read the extended investigation now live on Substack. This is Shepherd Lens Media, independent, unfiltered, human.